Hey, Riddle here. I need to show you a very interesting discovery I made. Now, if you're like me, you may have a fireplace or several fireplaces. And if you don't know, it's really important what you do and don't burn in them. And regardless of what you do and don't burn in a fireplace, it's going to build up something called creosote on the sides of the chimney. And if too much of that buildup uh, is in the actual chimney, it can create a chimney fire. So it's a good practice every year to clean your chimney or have your chimney cleaned. I've looked at do-it-yourself mechanisms to clean my own chimney. I've paid people to clean my chimney. It's a couple hundred bucks here. But then I saw, or I should say my spouse decided last year because they were on sale to buy this creosote buster stuff. And what you do, you follow the instructions, you start a fire so everything gets nice and hot in there, and then you toss in one or two of these things and you have to keep your house aerated because it makes um, a nasty smell. And then this helps to melt off or take the creosote and the buildup off of the inside of the chimney. So I've used it and it works fairly effectively, I have to say. I haven't been disappointed with it. Is it as effective as actually having your chimney cleaned? And can you use this if you have a carburetor, you know, a um, insert fireplace insert in your chimney without it clogging it up? I'm uncertain. But what I wanna show you is this. I had a couple of these laying in the garage and I was cleaning and organizing, so I thought, Okay, those got to be used soon. I'm just going to store them in the chimney. I'm going to just toss them in, toss them into the fireplace and then just close the doors. Cut to a week later after the, they're just laying in here now. They're, they're not out of the box. They're not being burned. And all of the creosote, all of the, the char, on the sides of the chimney are peeling off. And I thought, oh my, that is really interesting. So what I did to work with what was happening is I opened up the chimney flute and hoping the gas is gonna rise up and this is also gonna happen inside of the chimney. But that being said, this, these must be emitting a really strong gas, even though they're in a package and even though they're in a box it's kind of scary so i would not store these anywhere inside of my house because it means you're probably being exposed to some kind of really noxious poisonous gas but if you buy these and you have a good seal on your fireplace doors you may try to open them up and toss them in and just let them sit in your chimney for a couple weeks with the fluke open and see if you get the same results that I did because this, the way this is peeling off is actually better than when I actually burn these things. So that's kind of my discovery. It's my discovery. So let me know what you think in the comment box. I'm sure everyone's gonna have some say-say on this, some say-so. Okay, bye.